So there's this strange meteor rock formation back here in the woods. I'm trying to find it. I'm way off trail and I would like to camp it, but I'm not sure where it's at. Here there's people sh shooting right now. So I don't want to get caught in the car. So I'm gonna head away from the noise. All this state and land has been restructured. It was bought out and labeled in weird parcels. So I've been hiking for the last four hours. It usually takes me 30 minutes. This is one of the vehicles that I was looking for. It's a land marker, so I know it's down this crevice. So I'm right here. I'm at the site right now. I'm actually going to walk around it, and I'm going to show some of the interesting features. So why it's weird. And I have a scientific explanation that's going to be pasted in the description, but it looks like a meteor, so we're going to run with that. Look here. You see it looks like all these rocks have been molded together or kind of formed intentionally. And you see each individual rock like this, but look at this. It's almost like they're put together like cobblestone, which is really, really fascinating to me. I believe it's the result of a blast of a meteor millions of years ago that sent a bunch of rocks flying. You know, you can see people have had fires down here and all that. And Go around the corner here and check more of it out. It's kind of like a slope, a cave ish system down here. Could probably camp in there, but it's just full of gnats and beer bottles, so I'm not gonna do that. You get up here in this area, you see over there there's an arch that looks like it's carved out. And that was always interesting to me because it's like, oh, you know, only. Somebody could have carved that, but it's probably done well after the fact by people who have come out here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna climb all the way up there so you can get a good 360 scope of the area and how things are kind of ge geographically orientated. I'm up on the top of it right now and it's super high. If you look down, you can see there's just a straight drop right there. I couldn't really tell you how high it is because I'm bad with numbers, but you can see the rock and I'm gonna show you the top view. So you can see, why it's so interesting that a structure like this would be present in the middle of the woods in Michigan. Well, this isn't Kentucky, this isn't Pennsylvania, this is just normal Michigan woods. You follow that ridge line, it's like a peninsula that goes straight up in the shape of a bowl. And all the way over here is a flat opening. So, I'm trying to make, to be able to maybe help people understand why it's so hard to get down this damn thing, because it's basically, straight down it's pretty high up there too and it's kind of a risk but got up here i'll go down do another walk around and head out because i was gonna camp and now i'm out so that's fine well you know that's the rock i just scaled up the side of a mini mountain i'm out of breath right now but yeah it was caused by a meteorite explosion which i said i'll link down in the comments and it's it's interesting, not the longest video, not the coolest thing, but it's something I think some people will be interested in looking at. Personally, I'll always hold the view that it was built by giants, but that's just me. And uh, I got a special video coming out in a couple months, so I'll be posted for that, and we'll see what happens.